Today I'm going to show you how to install Fedora Linux on an external SSD or a USB pen drive. A fully working portable installation that you can boot on almost any computer. Here's the best part, it works perfectly as a dual boot setup alongside Windows without tossing your internal drive or personal files. You can boot into Fedora from your external drive or boot into Windows from your internal one completely separate systems. We'll go step by step from downloading the Fedora ISO, creating the bootable USB installer, installing Fedora on the external SSD and finally booting into your brand new portable Fedora setup. Even though this method doesn't affect your internal Windows system, I still recommend backing up any important data just in case. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Here's what you'll need before we begin. We'll need Fedora Workstation ISO, Rufus for creating a bootable USB, USB drive for the installer, minimum 4 GB capacity, external SSD or USB drive for installation, 32 GB minimum, and a PC that can boot from USB, UEFI preferred, and secure boot disabled. To disable secure boot, restart your PC and enter the BIOS or UEFI usually by pressing F2, ESC, F12 or delete key depending upon the motherboard during the startup. Go to the security or boot tab and disable secure boot. Also make sure your boot mode is set to UEFI for modern systems. Let's download Fedora and create our bootable USB installer. Go to fedoraproject.org, click Fedora Workstation, click Download Now, choose your system architecture for most users that's Intel or AMD x86-64. The ISO file will start downloading. Now open Rufus.ie and download the latest version of Rufus. Now I have both files downloaded here in this folder. Launch Rufus and plug in your USB drive as well. Under the device, select your installer USB drive. Under boot selection, select and choose the Fedora ISO and leave everything as it is. Click start and confirm the prompt and wait for the process to finish. Now let's prepare the external SSD where Fedora will be installed. Plug in your external SSD, in my case it's a 256 GB drive and make sure it's using the GPT partition table. To check and convert to GPT, open disk management in Windows. Find your external SSD in the list and right click in the disk level on the left side. Click properties, go to volumes tab. Check if it says GPT or MBR. If it shows MBR, we'll need to convert it. To convert it, delete all the partitions on that drive and then right click on the disk label again and click on convert to GPT. In my case, it's already GPT. Perfect. I'll be using the entire 256 GB for Fedora Linux. All right, time to boot into the Fedora installer. Plug in your both USB drives, your installer USB and your external SSD and then restart your PC. Press your boot menu key usually by pressing F12, F10, F9, ESC or delete key. Select your Fedora installer USB from the list. You'll see the Fedora boot menu. Choose start Fedora workstation live and press enter. After a few seconds. Fedora's live desktop will appear and from here we can begin the installation. On the Fedora welcome screen, click on install Fedora Linux. You can explore it first if you want, but let's go ahead and click install Fedora Linux. First choose your language and keyboard layout, then click continue. Now we're at the most important setup choosing where Fedora will be installed. Click on installation destination, select your external SSD, 
double check the size so you don't pick your internal windows drive by mistake here in my case i'm going to choose this 256 gb ssd drive fedora offers three different installation options install alongside with existing systems here fedora shares the drive with another os by resizing partitions the ideal internal dual boot but not what we need today and second we have a use entire disk this creates everything on the selected disk and installs fedora cleanly perfect for a portable setup on an external ssd and then custom this lets you manually create partitions and mount points if you prefer full control but here in this case we are going to choose use entire disk you can also enable encryption to protect your data but i'll keep it off for now next fedora gives you a summary of all changes if everything looks good check the box that says i understand that all the data will be erased and click erase data and install the installation will now begin this usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending upon your ssd's speed Once the installation is complete, you'll see the confirmation screen. Click finish installation and then choose exit to live desktop. Now restart your system and keep the external SSD connected. After rebooting, press your boot menu key again and select the external SSD from the list. Usually Fedora will be shown there. And now Fedora will boot up and guide you through the first time setup, language and keyboard layout, choose defaults or your preference. Wi-Fi connection, this connects to your network, the privacy settings, you can disable location services and automatic problem reporting. Time zone, type your city or region. Third party repositories enable this to get access to proprietary apps and drivers. User setup, enter your full name, username and password. And that's it. Fedora will finalize the setup and boot into the GNOME desktop. Welcome to Fedora Linux, running completely from your external SSD. Now let's make sure Windows still works perfectly. Restart your computer, then press your boot menu key and from there select your internal Windows drive. Windows should boot normally. Perfect. Windows boots with no issues. You have now a fully portable Fedora installation that works independently from Windows. If you remove the external SSD and see a Fedora or Grub screen when try to boot windows don't worry it just means your bios boot order needs adjusting press your boot menu key manually select windows boot manager or in the bios move windows boot manager to the top of your boot order that way windows will always boot normally when the external ssd isn't connected and that's it you have successfully installed fedora linux on an external ssd fully portable and completely isolated from your Windows system. You can plug this drive into almost any computer, boot into Fedora and enjoy the same setup wherever you go. If this video helped out, please give it a like, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.